Hey bitches, it's Merrick, and today on the menu is Jollibee. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I make mukbangs and ASMRs, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is part one of a Jollibee series I'm doing. If I have the other videos uploaded already, I'll link them on the screen right now. But without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have four things from Jollibee to eat today in this mukbang. The first one is the Jollibee Crispy Chicken. I got six pieces of that inside a bucket. This is a Jollibee Spaghetti. This is a pineapple drink that came along with the Jolly Spaghetti. They actually charged me an extra 50 cents to upgrade from like a regular fountain drink. And I thought it was worth it. Oh, by the way, this is my very first time trying Jollibee. So that's why I was willing to pay the extra 50 cents to get a good experience. And then they also offered me a dessert. This is their peach mango pie. So I'm excited to try that as well. And we also have this right here. This is just a uh, gravy that goes with the chicken. I'm actually going to show you guys a close-up shot of my food because I don't think you can see it that well. So this is the chicken right here. Very, very delicious. Next up, we have the Jolly Spaghetti. Mmm. There we go. Jolly Spaghetti right here. And then I think I'll open the pie later on for dessert. So we'll put that away for now. Um, you saw the pineapple drink already. And this is... Sorry. One second. This is... The gravy. I wonder if it tastes different from like KSC gravy. Um, I actually have another camera on me because I want to give you guys like a better angle. This is my little point and shoot camera. So I'm just going to switch to this right now. Alrighty, so you guys are seeing exactly what I'm seeing right now. We got my camera and the studio lights. So this is a Jollibee fried chicken. Very, very delicious. I am living for it. And then moving along, we have the Jolly Spaghetti. We got the spaghetti sauce, the noodles, all that goodness. Gravy again. And then the drink. Okay, so I'm going to start eating. Let me try the spaghetti first. Mm, I'm so excited to eat this, you guys. This is my very, very first Jolly Bee experience right here. Okay. Do you guys want to bite first? Here. Open wide. Got it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that, like, noodle drip. Oh. Mmm, mmm. 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 This is... Mmm. Oh my god. This is actually so good. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting it to be like that good, but oh my god. It's actually amazing. If you have been a long time subscriber on my channel, Whenever I take my first bite, I don't usually like moan, but that time it was like so good that I had to moan. Mmm. 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 I love this. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Let me try to describe the taste for people. Who have never had the Jolly Spaghetti before. So, oh by the way, my phone is here because I'm recording my audio. It's my external microphone, higher quality. Mm. So this differs from regular spaghetti, spaghetti in the sense that it's a lot sweeter, I would say. Um, I know not everybody is like into sweet foods as their like main course. But I really like sweet foods, like desserts are like one of my favorite things ever. And incorporating sugar into the spaghetti just makes it 10 times better. Oh my gosh, this is actually so good. Oh, now I don't want to eat the chicken because this is actually so good. Like, look at this. Oh, but I think I'm going to try the pineapple drink next. 
I have so much to tell you guys, by the way. <clears throat> Sorry. In this mukbang. It's going to be another really chatty mukbang. Oh, if you are new to my channel, I'm a chatty mukbanger. So I do like to talk a lot more often than the average mukbanger. I try to keep you guys updated about what's going on in my life, my life situations, difficulties, achievements, success. So it seems like <clears throat> we're like kind of internet friends in a sense. I know that sounds kind of lame, but I don't have many friends in real life. And you guys are kind of the only people I have to open up about my issues to. You guys are like my therapist in a sense. Okay, here goes the pineapple drink. Mmm. Oh my god. This is really, really good. It tastes, or it tastes like fresh pineapple. It doesn't even taste like a canned artificial pineapple drink. It tastes really real, like fresh pineapple. Here's a sip for you, everyone. Got it? Doesn't it taste like fresh pineapples? Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Let's get the Jollibee logo. Okay, wait. For the diehard Jollibee fans watching right now, what's this supposed to be? Is this a bumblebee? Like, is Jollibee, like, is the mascot of Jollibee a bumblebee? I've always wondered. And then <clears throat> we are going for the chicken next. It's six pieces, and I add, they have two flavors, regular and spicy, and I wanted to try both of them, so they let me do three and three without extra charge, which is really nice of them. Ooh, it's really crispy. Let's go even closer. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Wow. <clears throat> this is a lot more crispier than KFC. The skin just like falls off. Do you hear the crunching sounds? Check this out. That's how crunchy it is. Oh my god. I seriously know why people are obsessed with Jolly Bee chicken right now. Mm. When I went into Jolly Bee, the chicken was um already deep fried. Just like KFC. Like it was pre-made. So I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Because like when I went to KFC, the chicken skin was like soggy. It wasn't crispy. Since it was like pre-made, right? So, the fact that Jollibee's chicken remains crispy after about an hour of me going to the store, walking back here, and eating it in front of the camera is pretty impressive. Let's try the gravy. Mmm. This gravy is a lot more herby tasting. Like, mmm. I feel like there's like oregano or rosemary infused into the gravy. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. That's good. If we're being completely honest if we're, sorry, if we're being completely honest here, I can't lie, Korean fried chicken is still my favorite because I love the sweet and hot taste. Sweet and spicy, it's so good. But this is really good too. Like this is a close second, but I don't think anyone, like anything can be Korean fried chicken for me. Look at how juicy it is. Like do you see the moisture like glistening against the skin right now. Like the light's like reflecting off the meat. It's that juicy inside. Just like Korean fried chicken. Whew. 
Sorry, I'm like, I'm out of breath because, like, I haven't been breathing continuously because the food is so good. Like, I'm jamming food in into my mouth. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, by the way, if anyone's interested of how the Jolly con Jolly Bee container looks like on the top, this is what it is. It fits on the lid of the bucket. Um, so I have a lot, a lot of things to talk about today. I think, first of all, backstory. I'm actually not in my house. You might be wondering, where are you, Merrick? Are you at a friend's house filming this? Are you at a random stranger's house? Uh, grinder hookup gone wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, none of those actually. Mm. So I keep putting it down. I realize that you guys can't really see it that well. Let's make some room. Scooch over everyone. Scooch over everyone. No, I'm not in my house. I'm not at a friend's house. I'm not at a grinder hookup's house. I'm inside a hotel room. Why, Merrick? Why are you inside a hotel room? Did you suddenly become rich and decide to film all your mukbangs in a hotel room? No, I wish. Um, sorry, if you're wondering why I'm always looking off to the side, it's because that's where my laptop is and I can see what you guys are seeing since it's hooked into my camera. And my camera just automatically stops at like 11 minutes. So I want to make sure that it's actually filming while I'm eating. Oh my god, so juicy everyone. <laughs> it's so juicy. Mm. I am inside a hotel room because I'm not in my city. A lot of you guys know already where I live. Not exactly, like my address, but you guys know which city I'm from. I live in Western Canada. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> sorry, I have some phlegm in my mouth. Mm. The fresh pineapple juice with the crispy chicken and the sweet, jolly spaghetti. Oh, perfect combination. Who made this up? It's, oh, God. As of May 7th, 2017, there is only one Jollibee in Canada. Yes, only one Jollibee, everyone. And unfortunately, that one Jollibee across the second largest country land-wise in the entire world after Russia is not, not, I repeat, not in my city. And the thing is, I constantly get people on YouTube requesting me to film a Jollibee mukbang. Like, so often, people message me, they're like, Merrick, when are you going to do a Jollibee mukbang? Do a Jollibee mukbang, Merrick. I want to see Jollibee. I want to see Jollibee. And I finally gave in. I know in the States, there's a lot of Jollibees, especially in California. But here in Canada, there's only one. I live on the West. And... <clears throat> Sorry. I... Um, my voice cracked there. <laughs> I live on the west, and the Jollibee is located not on the east, but in the middle of Canada. So, a guy has to do what a guy has to do. A mukbanger has to do what a mukbanger has to do. I bought some plane tickets, flew all the way here to film these Jollibee videos for everyone. Yes, I filmed, or yes, I bought plane tickets, rented a hotel room to film mukbang videos. Is that insane? Is that crazy? I don't know. I call it dedication. <laughs> mm. And by dedication, I mean dedication to my viewers. Like when you guys tell me you want to see something and enough people tell me that same message and they're persistent enough, I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it. I am in this for the long haul. I am serious about my channel. So 
keep those requests coming, everyone, because I actually do listen to you, okay? Sorry, let me just get rid of some of the um, droppings from the chicken. More spaghetti. Mmm. Mm, there's also sausage here. Out of everything here, I think so far my favorite is definitely the spaghetti. I told you guys that I'm filming a lot of Jollibee videos, so I saw on the menu they have like one giant plate of spaghetti. So I might get that and devote an entire video to just eating Jollibee spaghetti. Um, so let me talk more about my journey here. Hmm. Is there a way for me to, like, angle the spaghetti so you can see it better? Um... Oh my gosh, six pieces of chicken is a lot. I'm starting to get full right now. I literally ate one piece of chicken. WTF. Um, let's go for another one. Okay, they separated the spicy and the regular ones. Let me see what flavor this is. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. Holy crap. Mmm. The spicy one is so much better than the regular one, I think. Oh my god. Oh, it's actually spicy. Oh my god, it's so spicy. I don't think, I honestly don't think I can eat the spicy ones now. Oh my god. I don't think I can eat the spicy one. When I asked for the spicy one, I honestly thought it was like kind of western level of spicy. Like... Um, cause I know a lot of European foods, um, they're not really spicy and like, I don't like, this isn't racist. This is just a fact. I know a lot of cock Asian people, their spicy is like my bland. So when I went to Jollibee, I was expecting like McDonald's spicy. <laughs> so when I said, can I get the spicy chicken? I didn't expect it to have any heat, heat at all, but this is actually really spicy. Holy crap. I, I honestly don't think I can finish it. I took one bite and like my lips are burning right now. Like, are they more red? Okay, honestly I can't do it. We have to go back to the regular one. Uh, maybe I'll knock on a random hotel door later on and ask if they want free Jollibee chicken. Because <laughs> I don't want it to go to waste. I seriously was not expecting that chicken to be that spicy. I have an idea. Maybe I can like lay this out artistically for everyone to see. Does this work? Will this work? I hope this will work. Oh, there's so much chicken and I'm so full already. <laughs> this is not a good sign. Oh, that doesn't look that good. Hold on. <laughs> Let me fix this for everyone. How do people do it on like advertisements? They make the chicken look so good. Okay, mm, let me shift everything over a little bit because this is just a sad, hot mess right now. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put the chicken right here in front of me. Here's all the chicken. 
Everyone can take one. You have one, you have one, you have one. You win a car, you win a car, you win a car. I'm like the Asian. Okay, my camera battery just died, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, but what I was saying was that you get one, you get one, you get one. I'm like the Asian male Oprah. Yeah, I'm like the Asian male Oprah. That was what I was trying to say before my camera died. <sighs> Mm. I also took the opportunity to like reposition food around my table to make it look a little bit nicer. Mm. You still can't really see the spaghetti though. I don't know what to do. What do I do? How do I keep it like that? Mm. I actually have an idea. I'm going to put my piece of chicken right there, right there. Maybe if I rip this box. There we go. And then what happens if I flip it upside down? Can you guys see the spaghetti better? Kind of. You guys can kind of see it better. There's so much chicken pieces everywhere. <laughs> Mm. But what was my plan? I was going to tell you guys something. Oh yes. Um. So I'm in. Well, if you look up, if you look it up online, the only city in Canada. That has a Jollibee, is called Winnipeg. So I'm currently in Winnipeg right now. For two days. And my goal is to try everything on the Jollibee menu. Yes, my goal is to try everything on the Jollibee menu in two days. If you think about it, that's actually accomplishable because... Hmm. Oh no, saw the chicken like sunk into the gravy. That's actually accomplishable because there's three meals in a day. So that means I'll have six meals at Jollibee. And I think um, six meals will be able to, uh, we'll, I'll, in six meals, I'll be able to try everything on the menu. Mm. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you do want to see me eat Jollibee's in entire menu or Jollibee's Jollibee Canada's entire menu, that is. Because I'm pretty sure they differ between, like, Jollibee USA and Jollibee Philippines. Hmm. I'll give you one example. When I went to Jollibee an hour ago... I was thoroughly disappointed by the fact that they did not have, guess what they didn't have at Jollibee, guess. They didn't have Halo Halo, I know. They did not have Halo Halo. And I was so, so, so looking forward to trying Jollibee Halo Halo, but they did not have it. <sighs> mm. They did not have Halo Halo. When I watch other Jollibee mukbangs, like um, Maximum Munchies, he tried Hollow Hollow from Jollibee, so I was looking so forward to getting Hollow Hollow myself. <sighs> mm. I feel like that's always a reoccurring theme in Canada. The good stuff never comes to Canada. <laughs> like, never. <sighs> 
I was um, chatting with my coworker. She is obsessed with M&M's. Yes, you know who you are if you're watching right now. She's obsessed with M&M's. And she always um, gives me samples of these, like, really cool exotic flavors. Like, there's M&M um, vanilla cupcake. There's M&M coffee. There's M&M cherry. And none of these are available in Canada. The only place she gets them is when she goes to Arizona to, like, visit family. Or there's, like, a specialty sweet store in my city. But, like, supply is really limited because, like, not many people know that cherry M&M's exist or vanilla cupcakes M&M's exist. The only M&M's we have in Canada or, like, the, the only regular M&M's we have in Canada are the regular ones, the peanut ones, and the peanut butter ones, I'm pretty sure. So I feel like with Canada, all the cool flavors and variations of things are not available. Every Canadian can relate to this problem. When you're shopping online... And it says, does not ship to Canada, WTF, WTF. It ships to 50 states, but not to Canada. Why? Why? Literally, hashtag Canadian problems. Oh my gosh. Or like when, uh, when shipping is available to Canada, and like the shipping fee is three times the cost of the item. I think at Hot Topic, when I was shopping online, I went to, like, get this shirt for, like, $20, and shipping was, I'm pretty sure, it was $80. So I was like, hell no. But yeah, I was so sad that there was a hollow hollow at Jollibee. Speaking of hollow hollow, some people requested me to do a hollow hollow mukbang, and I actually filmed one in the past. It just turned out really, really bad, so I never uploaded it. Like, the lighting was bad. I just wasn't feeling it that day. I literally could not talk for some reason, so I just did not upload it. Oh my god, this spaghetti is literally my favorite. I kind of want to eat one more piece of chicken, but the chicken is so big, it takes me forever to eat one piece. I feel like this video has gone on, gone on for a really long time already. Mm. This is really good, oh my god. I feel like I said this is really good like at least five times in this video. The spicy chicken is really good, but it's too spicy for me. That's a first, cause like, I can take Chinese spice, I can take Indian spice, I can take Korean spice. Apparently not Jolly Bee spice. <laughs> Right now, I'm trying to think what other items I want from Jollibee. Oh, by the way, for people wondering why I didn't just go online and check the menu to see if they had Hello Hello beforehand, this Jollibee did not have an online menu. Literally, I searched all over the internet for this, for their online menu, I could not find it. I searched all over for their corporate phone number, could not find it. It was like so secretive, oh my god. Like on Yelp and stuff, on um, on TripAdvisor, no one posted any photos of their menus. So I took a picture of their menu and like the building and everyone 
is going to thank me from now on because I'll be the first one who submits a photo of the first Jollibee in Canada. And going on the disappointment note, when I looked at the menu, I was kind of disappointed because honestly, it honest, honestly, wait, what, did I, what was I saying? Honestly, because honestly, I'm like using the same word too many times in a sentence. Honestly, there wasn't that much food to choose from. It was like a pretty limited menu, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the Jollibee in Philippines and USA would have a lot more food. But I think there's enough uh, different types of food for for it to last me three days. Two days. Two days and six meals. And they have like different um, hamburgers and stuff. What else do they have? There's this like noodle dish. I forgot what's it called. They have, maybe I'll do like a... Jollibee sides mukbang, so like try out all the different sides, like the corn, mashed potatoes, french fries. And maybe I do want more chicken, I would say. I don't know how I would pair it though. Would I do like Jollibee chicken and Jollibee Sunday? Because they do have Sundays there. I looked at my phone because someone just messaged me from Grinder. <laughs> I know, right? So scandalous. <laughs> oh, I um, my flight got in at eleven a.m. local time this morning. I did not sleep the night before because I was editing. My uh, pecking duck, my Beijing pecking duck book vlog. If you have not seen that yet, I'll link it on the screen right now. Please go watch it. I put a lot of effort into that vlog. There's some cool editing effects that I'm personally proud of. Um, but yeah, I spent all night editing that. I got no sleep. I boarded my plane. There's a crying, crying baby on board. I could not get some shut eye. Couldn't sleep on the plane. Got off the plane. Um, got to my hotel, left my luggage at the hotel, because by the time I got to my hotel, it was 11.30 a.m., and check-in time was 3 p.m., and I couldn't check in before 1 p.m., so I wanted to go to this museum. Okay, remember what I just said? I need to take this bite first. Okay, I'll be talking about this in either part 2 or part 3 of my Jollibee series, just because I'm pretty much done my food. I'm going to save the chicken for later, I think. I'm so full. Oh, by the way, if you are new to my channel, I, I'm one of those mukbangers, or like, not one of those, but like, I'm a mukbanger who doesn't force myself to keep eating when I'm full. Like, I'm not gonna harm myself and like take away from the pleasure of eating just to finish a meal. I don't waste my food, I just save it for later. I save it for like two hours later. I literally get hungry within an hour of eating something. So don't think I'm throwing this in the trash can or something. I do save it. I just don't want to feel like I'm going to throw up after I press the off button. Almost done. I'm like using the entire box of Kleenex at the hotel <laughs> to wipe my mouth. Because people get mad at me if I don't wipe my mouth often. People are like, oh, you have stuff on your lips, Vic. You have stuff on your lips. Like, I'm sorry. I'm eating, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to eat and talk at the same time. Of course, food is going to get on my lips. What do you expect? What do you expect? <sighs> um, but, yeah. I had a very big incident inside this museum with a guy um, I won't go more into it, because I want to talk about that in another Jollibee mukbang. So you'll just have to stay tuned for that story.
But yeah, it was pretty, pretty scandalous. We may have had a little fun in the museum. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? Yeah. Could you imagine, though, like, doing it in a museum? That would be such a unexpected location. So, um, my point was, I went to this museum, and I got back, I took a nap, and right now it is 10 p.m., and I have not eaten anything, ate anything? What's the proper term? I have not eaten eaten anything. I have not ate anything. I think it's, it's, I have not ate anything since a day ago. Because I want to save my stomach for this Jollibee, mo- Jollibee mukbang. But for some reason, I can't eat that much. <laughs> I honestly thought I could eat the spaghetti and six pieces of chicken, but apparently not. Done. Time to try the peach mango pie. So we have peach mango pie from, there we go, Jollibee. The container reminds me of a McDonald's pie. This is how it looks like. Looks like a McDonald's pie, a fried empanada. Oops. I was going to give you guys a bite. Got it? Mmm. Oh my god. This is actually really good. That's the peach mango filling. I'm not, like, honestly, I'm not lying here. You guys, my regular viewers know that... When I try food, and if I don't like it, I tell you guys, I don't like it. I honestly don't hold back my opinion. And right now, everything I've tried is really, really good. Like, except for the spicy chicken, just because it was too spicy for me. Like, I wasn't going to lie and put on a fake smile and continue to like be like, Oh, this spicy chicken is so good. I love the spice. No, my tongue was about to fall off. But this is genuinely really good. Mm. I love how I'm eating a deep fried pie while trying to arrange hookup plans with someone on Grindr. <laughs> I'm gonna be so bloated by the time he comes. You guys are probably wondering right now behind your computer screens or your phone screens or your tablet screens, is he serious about the hookup? Maybe. I, you know that expression when someone's like, just kidding, and someone else is like, oh yeah, I'm just kidding, only if you're kidding. <laughs> I need to give you guys like a good example or something. I am thinking it's like one of those situations, situations, like say your boss offers to treat you for lunch. And you're with, like, three other co-workers. And, like, all, like, you and the two other co-workers, all of you guys both want free lunch. But you don't want to be the first one to accept his offer. So you're, like, standing there in silence waiting for someone else to be like, oh, yeah, I want this. But no one speaks up. And the boss just assumes no one is hungry. I don't know. Did that really make sense? (laughs) Mm. Another bite. There's actual peaches in here. But when that happens, I'm always the person who just doesn't reply. I'm just silent. I'm like, I hope someone takes the my boss up on their offer so I can take along. Because <laughs> I don't want to come off as greedy, even though I am, I think. Mm. Oh god, I'm so full. 
Let's do a close up sound for the last one. What a delicious meal. Oh my gosh. My first Jollibee experience was 10 out of 10. The baseball was just knocked out of the park. The ball was knocked out of the park. I'm not sure what the saying is. Again, if you're new to my channel, I always mess up common sayings. Mm. Alrighty. So that is going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed already because you'll be notified the next time I upload part two of my Jollibee series. Thank you again and I'll link all my past mukbangs on the screen right now. Until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye bitches. Thank you.